Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Got Next Gaming and another episode of our Road to the Show series with our closing pitcher, Strike Him Out, who is now in the major leagues and enjoying his time here. We're going to jump into some action soon, see where he gets to pitch next. We have that uh, boost going for us for the next 25 innings so that he can get uh, his attributes up and get some training points, and we're going to get some game action here. Bottom of the 18th inning here with nobody out, 4-2. Uh, Looks like Milwaukee put up a two spot there in the top of the 18th. And they're going for their closing pitcher here to come on in and uh, hopefully get them the win after this long, long game. That's a that's a long game, 18 innings. And let's uh, see what our closing pitcher, our young superstar here, can do. First at batter, 0-2 count. Gets him swinging over the changeup for a strikeout. And I believe that's his first major league strikeout. Look at that. Coming in there and striking him out. And that is awesome stuff. Yep, that batter wasn't too happy about that. But you swung at it. And now we got our uh, graphic back where it throws his name in there. Strike him out. And then they show the replay of him striking him out. Which I love. That's the whole idea that behind naming him strike him out. Next batter here. Full count. Swings through the slider. That was up in the zone, and he gets strikeout number two. Out number two. And he gets those 28 points with the double, uh, the two-time modifier on there. So that's good stuff, getting a lot of points here in this one. Next batter, 2-2 two -two count. Can he do here? Gets a base hit right back up the middle. And the runner will be on at first base. Gives up his, uh, I think his uh, first major league hit there. Thinks he gives up that uh, first hit there for him, but that's okay. Next batter will lift this one to right field, which is pretty deep, and it is off the top of the wall. The runner will come around all the way from first and score, and the hitter gets a triple out of that one. I believe they, they're going to call that a triple. I don't know, but uh, gives up his first run here, and the next batter will be grounded to second, throws on to first for the out, and he gets out of the ball game, only giving up one run, and there's a, something that... Uh, He's not used to doing there. He's giving up that run. But he still was able to come away with the save as the Milwaukee Brewers do win this one 4-3. to three. It's a win for the Brew Crew and a much-needed one. That's what they need. And uh, he gets his first Major League strikeout there and a save. And he gets 212 points for the effort despite giving up that triple in the run. You can see his ERA bloats up to 4.50 because he's only pitched two innings so far. But that's okay. Not to say he's used to giving up runs. He hasn't given up a run in quite some time. But he's going to have to get used to that here in the majors. Much different hitting. And he's going to have to get used to that. But here we are in our next game. Bottom of the ninth. Nobody out. 2 nothing lead. And they call upon their young closer here to try to get him out of this one. And get them the win. And this one is grounded back in front of the plate. And what was he doing there? I don't even know what happened. Strike him out. Like ran away from the ball. Like he was scared of it. I don't know what that was. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, next batter, 3-2 count. Pumps the fastball by him on the corner for the strikeout. And he comes back and forgets about that botched play and just mows him right down. And we'll get the replay on that one. And we can see he doesn't even swing at it. And it's right there on the corner. He gets the punch out, and that's what he needed. 1-2 count here on the next batter. Cut fastball, swung on and missed for the strikeout. And that's strikeout number two for him. And two outs here as he's going to get ready for the third batter. And uh, I don't know what was said there, but that wasn't looking so hot. And we had to throw this one in, even though it's the Phillies. I always loved the Philly Fanatic, and we had to throw that in there. I thought that was a nice little touch to the game. Next batter here, 1-1 one, one count. Grounds this one to third. It's chopped on down there. He throws to short for the force out, and he gets it, and the ball game will be over here. And strike him out, comes in, and once again does his job and closes it out for his team. You can see Garza there, who is the uh, winning pitcher. Was uh, extremely happy about that one. I'm sure he's uh, happy by the efforts of his closing pitcher, his new closing pitcher, to get the job done. 137 points here um, for his efforts in this one. As you can see, Milwaukee's record up top there is 24 and 30. And they're hoping that maybe they can change some of the culture around here with their new closing pitcher, where we get to tight games like this, where it's two to nothing, and we can actually win those games because we're getting good pitching. But it seems like they're not getting uh, such great hitting lately. Uh, and that's what they need. They need a little bit of uh, luck on their side. Calendar here shows us that we're going to get into a training session. Uh, it's for pitch command. 
not going to show anything there. Just going to show the end of it and see where he kind of uh, finishes up to see what he gets for that one. He gets 175 points, gets the silver medal. We'll take that. It's a, something we can add into our attributes and we can use those. We always know. Uh, I keep talking about how much I like those uh, training sessions where you can pick up those extra points, especially with a closing pitcher. And now with our, our two-time modifier boost as well, that's going to be helpful. We're going to get at least a week here before we get into game action again. And that's what I'm talking about. It's tough to get those points when you don't, when you pitch once a week, you know. And it's almost like a starting pitcher in a way, but you don't pick up starting pitcher points. 2-2 two -two count here against the first batter. Change up is down and away, and he swings over the top of it. And he gets a strikeout in this one to face the in his first batter here. He gets a strikeout again, doing his job, mowing him down, like like what we're seeing here, and that's what he's supposed to do. We get the replay. Next batter, three one count here. He's got the one out. He's got a one run lead. He will walk this guy. Gets away from him. That was kind of right there, on the edge there by the knees, but they didn't give it to him that time, and he walks the guy. O2 count. Next batter, fastball down and away, and the batter swings through that one, and he gets the strikeout on that one. Doesn't let that that walk get to his uh, get to him there, and he just kind of goes in and does what he's supposed to do. Next batter, two outs, two two count, grounded to third base. It is fielded and thrown to second for the force, and that'll do it for this one. You can see the coaching staff there is fired up and happy about the win for that one. Like I said, they're hoping that maybe with some luck they can get uh, the culture changed here, and we'll get that little graphic from the uh, jumbotron out there and center field the victory sign in Miller Park uh, I believe this was his first home game yeah I think it was his first uh, uh, home game that he pitched at in Pechton so we'll see the 147 points that he picks up there we got 22 innings remaining on our modifiers and we're liking the fact that we got those extra points to help build up our closing pitcher it has been a struggle to say the least to get points so we have 461 of them now and we're going to go see if we can Get some of that stuff up there. You can even see some of his uh, attributes are on the downward trend because it's tough to move those points around. I mean, I don't know. It's huge that we, we're doing the two-time modifier. If I can get enough stubs, I think I may put it back in for him for another 25 innings just to help him out because you can see a lot of those attributes are on the downswing now. And it's just hard to, to divvy them out because some of them need so many points. And pitching every seven days and such, it's... Been, been a challenge. I mean, if you guys have any ideas or, or anything like that or tips on what I can do, please go ahead and comment on it. Leave me a comment and let me know what you've been doing if you're using a closing pitcher in your games. Um, but I've been just trying everything I can to get him as many points as possible. I always do the training sessions every time they come up, and I've been uh, using the stubs in, the, in a positive way to, to get that going on. We're going to jump into some calendar action here. We're going to see a couple of trades. Dodgers trade a starting pitcher to the Brewers for – our center fielder, Bobby Rosa. We get a Brandon McCarthy. And we're going to sim ahead here, and it's going to keep going. And we're going to get another trade. Padres relief pitcher, Nick Vincent, to the Brew Crew for our second baseman, Craig Regan. So a couple of trades going around there in the middle of June. We've got um, another bunch of games before we kind of see any action here. We'll get a simulated game uh, for training session. And we can see our... Closing pitcher there, and ouch, you did not perform well in that one. 35 points does not pick up much. Uh, it was a tough one out there. We had to pay, face our three, four, and five batters, I believe. And here we have the calendar again in front of us, and it's been about a week since we've seen some action. Uh, we did get the win from them last time, but you can see one, two, three losses there, four losses since the last time around. He does get into the game action here, top of the ninth. He's got a 7-4 to four lead to work with. And we're going to see what he can do here with a 1-1 count. It's grounded to first. First baseman will take it and step on first himself for the out. So strike him out, gets one down there, one out here in the, in the ninth inning uh, for him so far. Next batter, 2-1 count. And strike him out, deals. And this one is popped up in the infield. Shortstop will wave everybody off and camp underneath it and make the catch. And that'll do it for that batter. It's two down now. 0-1 count here to the next batter. And this one is lined into right field, but the right field is right there. Takes a couple of steps over, makes the catch, and that'll do it for this ball game. And the Brew Crew gets another win out of the efforts from their closing pitcher coming in and shutting the door in this 7-4 win for 
the Milwaukee Brewers. And like I said, the, their wins are at a premium uh, for them as they're not hitting the ball all so well. But they are getting the efforts from their pitching staff, as you can see. Four runs in a game ain't too bad. We can see 110 points here for his very economical outing. So far, he's got five innings pitched with five saves and six strikeouts, giving up a couple hits and a walk and even a run, but not looking too bad overall uh, as of late. But we're going to continue to try to see what we can do. I'm going to do more research on trying to find out what kind of things I could do for this closing pitcher to get him more attribute points to try to, I don't know, maybe we should ask for a trade to a team that can use a closing pitcher more. I don't know what to do because he's not, you know, he's not getting a lot of points. He pitches like once a week and they should be throwing him into games no matter what, even in mop-up situations just to get him some action. And I don't know why it doesn't do that. They should fix that in, 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 next, in the next game or something. I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, folks. I want to thank you for stopping by. Please leave your comments below. Like if you hit the like button if you do and please subscribe if you're new. We will see you around the channel. Thanks again. Bye now.